Okay. This is a way to automate your readings from the GOS. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the software required to directly read off of the GLX. However, the GLX, all it does is take light and turn it into voltage. So we can measure the voltage from the GLX, and it has a direct relation to the absorbance. Okay? So it's actually fairly straightforward if you're interested in doing it. And maybe you are, maybe you're not. But generally in every class, it's one person who's interested in something that's a little different. So you just plug the voltage leads in here. Fire up Data Studio. And it should directly sense that we're trying to get voltage. All right. Yeah, good. All right. Now, again, I want graph of voltage over time. Now, once again, we have to tell GLX what zero is. Or, excuse me, the color imager what zero is. So we press R, we got zero. Now, get everything ready. So basically, the GLX is taking readings at a rate of 
What does that look like? About 10 per second? Yeah. And so it's taking that still with that reading, and then suddenly the color editor sends it another number, and then it sticks on that number, and the color editor sends it another number. So the stair steps is not because the reaction is doing that, it's because the color editor is only sending that information once every second. GLA, and you can set it to take readings once a second if you like, um, but there's no real reason to. The linear fit will take care of your spine. And of course, if you had the reaction go faster, that slope would be higher, and if the reaction was slow, that slope would be lower. Is there a thing for Absolutely. With an uncertainty. With an uncertainty. Okay. Now, it can be a little problematic to match it directly back absorbance to voltage, but that's a problem that you can definitely solve. I worked on that um, actually last week while you guys were or two weeks ago while you guys were doing the group work. All right. So, questions of any kind. Now's the time. No? Nope.